this video is going to go into the basics of alignment creation inside of Civil 3D 2016. There's a couple ways to do it. You can do it by clicking on polyline or doing it creation of your with your own points. We will do uh, by polyline first. That seems to be probably the easiest. So if you type in polyline and pick a point that you want to uh, start with, drag out into your as you want to go, create a couple PIs, and then connect over into your second intersecting alignment. <coughs> now, once you have your polyline, you go to the ribbon, pull down on alignment, create alignment by object, click your line, hit enter, and there's a little arrow there asking you if you want to start your stationing from left to right. If you need it to go from right to left, you'll click revert R for reverse, hit enter. That is that starts your stationing from left to right. I will show you how to change it back to right to left or left to right after we go through these steps. Uh, so you want to give your alignment a name. We'll go with line A. And then we'll check the start station, make it 10. The default for alignment type is center line. There's a few options in here. I use center line mostly for all of my stuff. I check the the default layer that it's going to fall on and then you want to check the label set that's going to come in. We'll use this major long alignment for now. And then I also check the box that says erase existing entity so it will get rid of this white line. So you hit OK. Your alignment comes in and as you can see the stationing is going right to left. So to change that you want to click on your alignment, click on the ribbon tab geometry editor. That is not correct. I'm sorry. I, I'm already leading you astray. Click on the alignment, pull down on the modify tab, and there's a reverse direction button. And that will give you a warning, but then you click OK, and now the station is reading left to right like we wanted. So after you get that in, we have just an alignment with no curves. So I'm going to click on the alignment click in the ribbon on the geometry editor button this button or this toolbar has a lot of things you can do to your alignment you can add PIs or take away PIs uh, what I want to show real quickly is how to add a curve to a alignment that you have so you're gonna click on this click on this button that has an arc and the free curve fillet between two entities radius is what I like to use. It's pretty easy. Um, you click on the first segment and then the second and down here in, in your command line it's going to ask you if you're going less than 180 and I'm going to say yes by hitting enter and then ask you what your radius needs to be for this. I'll say 500. The command stays active until you hit escape so I'm going to move to my next PI and click on the first segment and then the second Again, hit enter for less than 180. Put in another degree, I'm sorry, radius length. So we'll put in a thousand on this. And then once I'm done, I'm going to hit enter. And that will clear me out of that uh, command string. So I have my alignment, I have curves. If you would like to check the um, build of your alignment, you can click on it. Actually, as long as this is up, you don't have to click on the alignment. Go to the panorama button, and that gives you your information on the station start and end, the directions, the bearings, the deltas for your PIs, your radius lengths, etc. Um, if you put in a radius length and decided you need to change it, um, if you unlock these two PIs, it will allow you to um, edit the radius length. As you can see, the, the red is highlighted for the one that you're going to change. So let's change that to something larger. So it's pretty easy to see you know, what, what changes you're making. It highlights red if you need to change it. After you're done, 
you can leave those locked or un you know, unlock them, it doesn't matter either way. So after you're done with that, you want to close out that box. Um, the default that we brought in was the station along alignment. It's smaller. I use those for my design basis so that I don't have large labels cluttering everything up. Um, here in a bit we'll show you how to switch your label set to something that you might use for a plan on profile sheet. Um, we'll kind of go through here and I'll show you how I go about adding labels to this alignment that we created. So I click on, click on the alignment up in the ribbon. It's going to give you the add labels button. Click on that to pull up, pull down the fly out and I always use the top which gives you the box that has all of the labels in it. It defaults to alignment because that's what you have selected on your alignment on your screen. Um, we'll go to single segment to start here and I'll show you alignment name. So wherever you click it's going to put put your alignment and then you can then move that alignment with this blue diamond all, all along that segment. Um, sometimes I like to use the multiple segment for that and I'll actually add along with that a style that has the bearing along with the alignment name. So if you click multiple segment and hit add, it will place this this uh, label at the midpoint of each segment along the alignment, and then you can adjust if you need to accordingly. So in the curve, it did not put a bearing because there's not a bearing on the curve. And then each alignment segment, you can see, has the bearing in the midpoint of the segment. So if this was a plan and profile sheet, you, we would need to be labeling all of the entities, the PCs, the PTs, the PIs, for our sheets. So to do that, I'm going to click on the alignment. I like to right click. It's the quickest way for me to do it, to find what, what I'm trying to get to for my labels. Select Edit Alignment Labels. It's going to pull up a box that has what's currently on the the alignment as far as a label set. I'm going to clear that label set out by hitting the red X. I'm going to bring in a in dot tick style label set and it shows you that the full tick is going to be at 500, the half tick is going to be at 100. I'm going to change that to 150 and I'm also going to take the station out of the half tick by switching it to a no station in dot half tick no station style. We also have the geometry label on here that's going to do the PCs, PTs, start and end. You can control what is labeled by clicking on the button that has the three dots here. And this is the whole list of everything it's going to label. Um, I'm going to leave them all on there because I want to show how to get rid of them if you don't set this in the very upfront. So I'm going to hit OK and it will add these labels on here. It switched to a larger um, label style for the stationing and then added the geometry labels. So we have our geometry labels coming off the alignment and you, you know, can edit the style to say or have a certain amount of precision and whatnot. Um, if you have a, a label that you don't want to see when you click on one it selects them all so it's kind of deceiving as to be able to get rid of one of them but if you bring your properties box over here um, if you hit control and then click on one it will bring up an individual an alignment geometry point uh, editor you'll change that to false and it makes that specific one go away so let's do it again I'll, I'll come to the beginning I want to make that go away. So I hit control and then left pick to select and it comes up in the properties true just to make it go away. You hit false. Um, if you accidentally make one false that you want to have come back, click on one that's still on the alignment, right click, right click and reset all group labels will bring them back and set them all back down to the uh, on the alignment. That same feature and function works for your, your station labels. Um, so say you move a couple of these stations to, to make them look like they should in your cut sheets. Well, if you want to move them back all at once, you can 
select it, right click, and then hit reset all group labels, and it bumps them back to the default position. Just a little trick to kind of make it easy to reset your labels. Because labels can get hard to deal with sometimes. Um, so I'm going to show you just some standard curve labels for the alignment, um, the way to get the correct PI label, uh, the correct curve label, and so on. So I'm going to click on my alignment, bring that box back up, I'll click on the ribbon, add alignment labels, bring the box up, I'm going to go to uh, single segment, and I'm going to pull down to my curve label, this uh, VS delta length and radius. Um, I'm going to select the curve, pick on it, and it brings up all of the information needed to define the curve. So I'm going to pull that away from my alignment. Once it's pulled away, you can still kind of maneuver it around by this diamond. And um, as you can see, it gives you the PI station, delta, radius, and so on. Um, we also, on our plans, will label the PI point. Um, we found out the hard way that you have to use a specific label to get the correct station on that. Um, if you was to just do a station offset off of the alignment, um, it gives you an incorrect station. So if you pick the station offset style, pick on your alignment and pick this point here, it is uh, wanting to say 57 point, plus 57.1. Um, that's not correct. If you go to the point of intersection label style or type and pick the VS, PI, and Delta. You will then click on your align. You can pick on the triangle or the gray line and that gives you a correct readout of the station. So this one is not right. As you can see this one 61.14 matches the you know the 27 plus 61.14 matches what we have up here. So that's right. Again if you want to label the PI, you'll go to the point of intersection, find the PI and delta, and click on either the line or the triangle, and that gives you the correct station. If you have a uh, if you have an alignment that is intersecting another alignment on your plans, we'll just create one real quick here. We have a label style that is used to uh, show the connection stations. So we'll do create from object. We want to reverse that one because we want that one to go north to south. We'll call it line B, 10 plus 0, 0. And we'll leave all this as it is and we'll erase existing entities, making sure it's BS proposed. Um, so this is our line B. Um, it connects into line A. Um, so if you click on the line A, pull down to station offset and find the alignment intersection. You can add. And it already knows it's on line A because you see it's, it's going along line A. So pick the point where you intersect. And then pick your second line, line B, and it will fill out the, uh, the information in your label. So it's pretty nice. Kind of take this and put it to the end there. So real quick, the second way to make an alignment is uh, if you pull down on the alignment tab, there's alignment creation tools, and it pulls up a very similar box, not quite all of the same. Um, default but very similar so I'm gonna make this line C as you can see I'm ch as I'm changing the name it's changing the default layer because of the the settings that we have set up in our templates um, I'm gonna change the start station to 10 plus 0 0 it's the same line we'll use major long alignment and hit OK and it pulls up the alignment layout tools box that we seen earlier when we were adding curves to these PIs. I always pull down and make sure I'm on tangent tangent with no curves. And we'll start here at this existing alignment. So as you drag out, it's 
it's going to, wherever you click, it's going to add a PI. So I'll click there and then close in to line B. Hit OK. Um, the box is already up, so if you click on it and pull down to the free curve fillet between two entities radius button, it's going to ask you to pick an entity. You pick the first one and then the second one. Hit enter for less than 180. Put in a, we'll put in a smaller radius here. We'll put in 100. So that is the basics of alignment creation in T Civil 3D 2016.